How to make a flight booking website for free and make money. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be showing you how you will be able to create a flight booking website for free and the platform that we will be utilizing to demonstrate this flight booking platform or website is called Wix.com. Now, Wix.com is a very easy to use platform, especially for beginners, and it is absolutely free to use. We don't need to pay anything except for if ever you want to establish a domain and have your own URL. So first things first, the first thing that you need to do is to set up your account and create an account in Wix. Creating an account in Wix is very easy and very simple. You can easily do that when you first open their platform. Now after creating an account, this is what you're going to see. You will basically be able to see the sites and view all your websites in one place. As you can see, I have been playing around with this platform for a while, so I know how to use it uh, enough to teach you guys how you will be able to create a version for a flight booking website. So once you're here, to create and start a new website, simply click on create new site over here on the top right, and we will be redirected to another page. Now. You could try it, the Wix Studio, which is a new website editor, but I would like to use the Wix editor for now because that is what I am more familiar with. Now, Wix comes with an AI assistant that you could have a help with so that you could get a faster start or you will be able to create content with a faster pace. As you can see here, you can easily set up your different interaction or different processes with AI if you want but for us we're going to go without AI for now because I would like to be in control more on what I want to do so over here it's going to ask you what kind of website you are creating now this part is very important you will understand later on because based on your answers here the options later on along the steps or along the road will be different so over here simply type flight booking now as you can see here, there is no exact name for or there is no exact type of website for what we want to create. So what we want to create is like a flight booking or, or a booking agency. So booking agency or airport is what the closest uh, website or the closest category to, our, to what we are trying to create. So it's either a travel agency or an airport shuttle service, travel agent, aviation, aircraft rental service all of that you could choose between all of these options it depends on what you think is closest to the type of website that you're creating but for us i think the closest one is the travel agency there we go so let's click on travel agency because technically they handle flight bookings as well so let's click on next over here as you can see it's going to prepare our dashboard now, depending on the type of website that you're creating, the process or the steps will differ. As you can see here, we were redirected to the dashboard right away. Usually, if you chose to create an e-commerce or a blog website, the process are entirely different. But as you can see here, uh, it's going to show us or ask us the different types of information such as business details, working hours, service staff, and other useful tools. So. Uh, let's name our flight booking system. So let's say aviation unit or something like that. Click on next. And then you could set up your working hours. Maybe you want a full 24 7 or a seven day working hours, or you just want uh, weekdays. It's up to you. Then you could set up the operating hours over here. Maybe you start at 9, 9 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. And then you could choose the time zone over here. You could choose from any time zone available for us over here. After that, let's click on next. Then you could choose the different uh, services that you want to be added to your website. You could have some comprehensive planning or uh, this one's closer. International travel guidance. Uh, we can get away, reserve your weekend, country, airport, shuttle. That's also something that should be included. And... It depends on the other sections that you want to add, but I guess uh, this is it for now. Let's click on next. And then you could add your staff over here. Maybe you have staff one, let's say Jade. 
and then Sarah, J. Sarah. Then you could just simply add their emails over here. Click on next, and then you could add or choose the different tools that you want to have. Maybe you want to accept online payments, uh, in person uh, payments, or some automated emails and uh, SMS reminders and stuff like that. Click on next, and now we can move on to the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is the back end. This is where all the different informations are contained. The front end is the design of your website, but the back end is more important in my opinion. Now, as you can see here, these are more additional steps to set up your business. You have your domain, as your first service over here, payment methods, design your website, and get found on Google. This is the custom domain that I was mentioning about that you need to pay for. But over here, you can add your service. The different things that you want your website to have over here. Right now, we have these two services over here, Airport, Shuttle, Pickup, and International Travel Guidance. So, um, you could add other booking services or other services over here. You could click on Add New Service, and then you could choose from all of these other options over here, as you can see. Um, uh, you could add this, or you could add this. It all depends on your preferences. You can also check out here there's booking calendars over here on the left staff or left side where you could check out like a calendar staff work schedule and all of the staff orders gift cards loyalty and referrals and many many more it's very easy to set up or rather it's a section where you have to really think about the content of your uh, flight booking system but most of the stuff are absolutely for free and as you can see right now i'm currently using free plans over here so uh, you will be able to easily create it but uh, let's actually create or show you how you will be able to uh, check out the website creation so over here let's click on design site if you want to finish your website fully and all the way through you have to follow all of this one by one it's going to be easy it's uh, being uh, guided to you guys with very easy examples or very easy samples and uh, set up so you guys won't be confused but anyway over here uh, let's go and click on template and these are the different templates for different travel agencies so these are all specifically related to travel so depending on uh, the design that you want you could choose any of them for example i would like this one i could simply or easily edit this template by clicking on edit and then we will be redirected to the wix website editor over here where we will be able to play around with what we want people to see on our website and in the back end over here this is where we will be able to add like the different functionalities or different um more direct information as you can see here we have your booking services and all of those stuff and in this side this is going to be the front end as you can see this is what people will see so you can easily uh, modify and edit a lot of stuff here uh, you could check out here like on the left side there will be like a guide here like elements sections pages and menu this will help you with your modifications modifying a section in your website is very easy as you can notice here there's a quick edit function over here and you can double click any part of the website that you want to modify and you will be able to easily modify that right now it's adding some features that we have added additionally earlier on uh, let's exit this one and there we go so if you want to edit this text over here or this section uh you can simply double click and then you will be able to change the information over here so let's say uh book your flight now something like that you could do that for everything that you are seeing right now if you hover on them you will be able to notice the different text as you can see here then you could do your modifications just like a normal website editor after that you can simply save over here at the top and you can either publish it as well if you're ready to release your website to the public. So that's basically it guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.